I'm Derek Johnson with Tatango.com, and I'm answering the question, what does consent is not a condition of purchase mean? So first off, what am I talking about? Uh, so there's a government organization called the FCC, and they have a law which is called the Telephone Consumer Protection Act, sometimes known as the TCPA. In the TCPA, they say that consent cannot be a condition of purchase, legal speak. So let's break that down. Uh, consent means the consumer consenting to receive text messages, okay, cannot be, we know what that means, <laughs> cannot be, a condition of purchase. So what that means is the consent cannot be a condition of the purchase. So the consent for text messages from a brand cannot be a condition of purchase. So let me explain in a real world scenario. So let's say I go into a retail store and I buy something, I'm purchasing something. Well, the purchase, I to make the purchase, they the brand or the retailer cannot require that I consent to text message marketing from that brand. So if I walk up to the, the cashier and I say, hey, I'd love to purchase this. Let's say it's a, you know, an Xbox. I'd love to purchase an Xbox. And they go, great, but before we allow you to purchase, you must consent to receive our text message marketing messages. That's a no-no uh, under the Telephone Consumer Protection Act. And the Telephone Consumer Protection Act is law, and that's how brands can be sued for text message marketing when it's done incorrectly. So if a brand uh, required that a consumer consent or opt in for text messages just because they made a purchase, then they would be in violation of the Telephone Consumer Protection Act or the TCPA. So that's answering the question, uh, what is the, in the TCPA, what is uh, consent is not a condition of purchase?